So we have some leaked game modes coming in for Halo Infinite here, guys. And these are data mined game modes, so they're not necessarily going to be in the game. Some might actually have been. We've seen previous data mines turn out to be true. Some of them to be half truths. And I think we're getting some half truths here on this one right here, where it says uh, this is from Delta News, which is actually like a rather credible source when it comes to Halo Infinite leaks, saying that they have Slayer Octagon, Score Attack, Slayer Ghost, and Slayer Warhog. Obviously, these are probably like coded in-game names kind of stuff. So not the actual name uh, that we'll get for the game mode itself within Halo Infinite. Uh, I'm assuming that probably means that there'll be like some kind of like octagon game mode that you can probably play in custom games or maybe an eventual custom game browser, which they mentioned previously. Score tag, I think it's just going to be a game mode for co-op, which is traditionally score tag. That's what that game mode has been for, is for co-op campaigns. So you can have a little bit of a competition about who scores more within the campaign side of things. Uh, Slayer Ghost and Slayer Warhog. See how that turns out. I think probably just be that like everyone spawns in a ghost, everyone spawns in a warhog or something like that, which does sound rather fun. Though, how does that play out? Especially with a warhog, if you're doing like free for all warhog slayer, it doesn't exactly work out. But the only thing I could imagine it actually being something with slayer warhog, especially, or even slayer ghost, would be the game mode sumo possibly coming in as a playlist, which would be amazing. Which I'm sure some of you custom game boys from the MCC would probably recognize this game mode here as sumo. It's a really fun mode where basically you just jump onto a map. As the map shrinks down for the platform, the more likely you're gonna fall off the map aka sumo you fall off the map your game is over so there you go so that would actually be a really fun mode to play maybe in the like rumble pit or something like that kind of throw it in there definitely would look forward to this once we get some more concrete information about these game modes coming in the halo infinite guarantee let you guys know here on the channel next we have some leaked customization that's gonna be coming for you guys here as well this one does look rather legit as it does use in-game assets for this whole thing so the first one here is called the watermelon slice coding here for your assault rifle maybe come around the fourth of july because you know that's kind of like in america as you generally when a lot of people are enjoying some good old watermelon which is always tasty right uh, so there's that coding there for you. And then another one is the Inevitable War, which is kind of like, you know when they rap and they call it Spit Hot Fire? That's what I'm thinking about when I see this customization right here. Be interesting to see how it actually interacts. It actually would might actually be kind of fun to have, to be honest. Then we have the Nottam Pager, which I'm assuming this is probably all gonna be coming in when it comes to like the, maybe like a 4th of July event or something like that. This is very like, you know, red, white, and blue, baby, yeah, <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that as well as like a cat and dogs when it comes to your weapon charms i know you guys love your cat ears but what about your cat emblems and weapon charms now if you've been playing halo infinite recently you probably saw that they added in team snipers which is like a hooray moment yes we got team snipers back baby but the problem is that it's not really like team snipers it's really weird if you check out the game list here they have cubby slayer and also they have brute snipes as well as just snipers which is like that's what you want when you go to team snipers you know what you want to use the sniper rifle but then 343 is like nah we gotta mix it up a little bit they throw in brute snipes which is like manglers and skewers and they have cubby snipes which technically there is no covenant right now anymore but anyways that's a lore detail right there uh you got the stalker rifle and the plasma repeater which is like what so literally only like one third of snipers is actually team snipers and it's just kind of like guys like why 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 change that like why why was that something that needed to be changed it seemed totally fine previously just give us team snipers and then like if you want to have some more variations i don't know make some sniper variations instead when it comes to the weapons instead of just like bringing some game modes that people don't really want to play. Just another really odd decision made by 343, because like, when you think of Team Snipers, this is not what I think of. I can see the skewer one being kind of fun because the hitting shots with the skewer is just super satisfying and fun. But the Covey one, man, it's like the Stalker Rifle and also the Pulse Carbine, which the Pulse Carbine Halo Fit is basically useless. Uh, the Stalker Rifle is very useful and fun, but not like that much fun to where you're like, oh my god, yes, I get to use this weapon, woohoo, kind of stuff. Like, you get to have that feeling when you have like a skewer or when you have a sniper rifle, which are like the really fun weapons you kind of thirst over in the match. And also, like, Team Snipers are the place that's generally used a lot by like montages or people looking to get some cool clips with some cool weapons and stuff like that in Halo, which you can't really do that with a Stalker Rifle and, a, you know, the Pulse Carbine, much less also the skewer and the Mangler as well. I'm just saying, when you, when you make team snipers, people want to use a sniper rifle. Now I saw this news yesterday and it made me very, very happy. And how happy am I? Well, a gamer just inside me smiled greatly because 
Look at this right here. So Call of Duty recently tweeted out that their worldwide reveals happening on June 8th, which was kind of teased within the reveal trailer. Understandable right there, makes sense. But this is very, very interesting. Steam retweeted it with some eyeballs looking at it. Now, why would Steam retweet Call of Duty on its reveal? Makes sense to me that Call of Duty is coming back to Steam, man. That, like, that's what it sounds like to me, which is amazing because like they after they made that switch to Battle.net for the platform to host Call of Duty, it's just been feeling kind of, well, lame. I mean, Battle.net has some great games. Like I said, Call of Duty, we also got Diablo, we got World of Warcraft. So it's like, it also, it's a relatively useful UI when it comes to the whole thing. So I don't mind it too much, uh, but having to come back to Steam is a huge win for the Call of Duty series. Maybe look out for a sale. If you guys are looking to jump back in and maybe with like the reveal event happening, there might be some kind of sales happening. We'll see. Activision's not really known for dropping their prices like at all. In fact, I recently just bought the remastered Modern Warfare, uh, you know, 2007 edition, you know, for like 40 bucks because I just got caught up in all the Call of Duty hype, which I do plan to stream on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below, guys, if you guys want to check me out there. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening doing some Halo first and then maybe the later half would mix it up a little bit. Now there's been some leaks going around about an unannounced Destiny project referred to as Goliath. In a recent update to their LinkedIn page, which has now been removed, which is very interesting to think about here, guys, saying that an unannounced game for a principal producer is what they're looking for right there and will foster an understanding of Goliath goals and vision across uh, your team. Work with the Goliath leadership team and other producers to help define and deliver on a roadmap of future Destiny releases. Now it sounds like this is going to be like some kind of content that's going to come after the most recently announced called like the final shape or the very final DLC is what they kind of proposed like a few years ago for Destiny 2 when it comes to expansions. This sounds like it'd be probably like the third phase of Destiny, right? Because we have Destiny 1. Destiny 2 with all the expansions and then after this sounds like there's gonna be a conclusion to like the current story arc then starting up a new story arc is kind of the idea behind it this all might be tied behind the Goliath project here now be very interested to see what actually happens over here now there's a lot of conclusions a lot of uh different you know assumptions when it comes to this article talking about this whole thing but very exciting to see if they end up announcing anything else when it comes to destiny i don't expect to hear any kind of hardcore information about goliath when it comes to what's going to be involved with the dlc or something like that uh because i think they're still just super focused on the current roadmap of destiny 2 which the last big roadmap we heard about was when they announced beyond light and then they had the witch queen and then, then the light fall which was the working title at the time to release at these time frames obviously COVID kind of shifted things a little bit right there um so we probably could see life on maybe at the end of this year or maybe at the beginning of 2023 or the end of 2023 there's probably some leeway when it comes to when these expansions will happen which queen was released uh just a few months ago and it was a huge hit i've been playing it as well and it's actually been a really fun expansion to play for destiny 2. Uh, so this is going to be probably coming up what's after light, that Lightfall expansion. Again, once we get some actual information, you know, I'll be sharing with you guys here on the channel. If you're new to the channel and miss any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.